If you're watching this, that means that you have finished our Camp Healing Hearts Online 2021. Um, if for some reason you hit this video by accident, I ask that you just go back and finish everything as uh, mentioned in the outline at the beginning of your, your booklet that we provided you that looks like this. So if you have indeed finished, I want to again thank you for joining us. Um, I hope you found, even though we did it again online, meaning that you were at home, um, and maybe you did some of the virtual meetups with other um, children or teens around your own age, and that you found that helpful. Um, I hope the activities and the discussions were very useful and helped you realize that you're not alone. Also that it's okay to feel how you feel about the death of your special person, people, and or animals. I hope that the information given here lets you uh, be able to move forward in your journey. Um, there is no timetable, meaning there's no end date to your grief. It's about learning to live with your grief and how to adapt and get used to all of the changes you go through after the death of a special person. I just ask that now that you are all done, the last section of your guide, it should say the last pocket, thank you and evaluations. There'll be a letter and there's two different evaluations. There's one for our campers. So each camper got one. Um, so if there's multiple members in one family, um, each camper should have their own to do. And then as far as any adult, guardian, helping adult, um, parent, you can just do one for all of the children. Um, if you wanna do multiple, that's fine, but usually doing one is helpful. Um, and the information you provide in those is very, very valuable to us. It lets us know what's been helpful, what's not, what for us to think about changing in the future as well. Um, our hope is that for 2022, we will be in person. Um, we're continuing to, monitoring, continuing to monitor how things are going. Um, it's hard to tell this far in advance um, but we are very hopeful that we'll be in person next year. Um, so keep that in mind. If you had done camp for the first time this year, or you've only done the online version, I do encourage you um, to join us for the in-person camp. Um, one of the differences with in-person though is it is only available to those going into first through um, sixth grade, so roughly those ages five to 12. Um, so keep that in mind as well. And feel free to reach out to us here at the Hospice Grief Center. Um, if you are a camper or any um, adult who's noticing that you have a child or teenager, teenager that might benefit from support here, um, to please call us. 634-2208 is how to reach us. 315 is the area code. Um, you can also visit our website at any point, which is hospice, H-O-S-P-I-C-E-C-N-Y, all one word, dot org org um, and i am the one who tends to work with children and teens here and i'm elissa saltzman um, the camp director for camp healing hearts and one of our bereavement counselors so thank you again so much for partaking and joining us for camp again i hope this was very helpful to you all and that um, you have a good school year as we uh, are getting closer now that you've finished camp um, school is just around the around the bend for you all right, well, you all take care and thank you again. And don't hesitate to call us, 634-2208.